Hello friends. Today we look into an easy formula or the recipe for the best all-purpose potting mix for all your plants based on scientific concepts. We'll also make an ideal terrace gardening lightweight potting mixture and the best seed starting mix. Coming up. If you are interested in gardening, please subscribe to my channel with the bell icon clicked. Let me start with three P's of successful gardening. That is planning your garden, potting mix preparation and planting. So today we will discuss on the second P of gardening that is preparing the best potting mix for your plants based on some useful scientific concepts. Please watch this video till the end. First, we'll discuss the criteria for the best potting soil for your plants and then the formula or the recipe for the best all-purpose universal potting mixture for your gardening. Well, you need to understand this point. Why can't I just dig up the ground and use this soil for my plants? This is because we have two major limitations of this. The first one is the compaction or the hardening of the soil, mainly with clay soil which can suffocate the roots. Then the second one is lack of nutrients in the soil that is the major NPK elements that's nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and also minor trace elements. Hence the need to prepare your own potting soil. Hold on friends, some more important concepts to learn before I disclose my recipe. A few criteria you should be taking care of while preparing your potting mix that is drainage, water retaining capacity and adding nutrients. The first one is drainage we all know too much water can rot your plants so a well draining soil that quickly drains out water within a particular duration of time is important for all plants this is the most important criteria for growing succulents and also based on this you can adjust the proportions of stuff like uh, sand perlite and other other stuff then second is the water retaining capacity this is just quite opposite of the first factor so we have to add materials in such a way that the water should neither drain out too quickly nor it should stagnate in the container. Then third one is the nutrients, very important criteria in container gardening. We have to add certain nutrients into the potting mix so that your plant can produce flowering or fruiting at the right time and can grow in a healthy manner. Having said that, now let's start making your own potting mix with the best and easily available ingredients. I am showing you two formulae, one you can use purely for terrace gardening which is very lightweight and will not have any compaction. This can also be an ideal seed starting mix so that the seeds can push the lightweight ingredients in its germination process and also to some extent this is sterile. And the second one is all purpose mix for most of our plants. You can change the proportions as per your requirement but generally this mix will be useful for any plant. So the formula is good quality garden soil about 40%. By good quality I mean it should not have any large stones or other large size stuff within it. Then secondly cocoa peat or peat moss about 30%. If you do not have this you can use about 10 to 20% river sand. Adding more sand may result in too fast drainage which might uh, be helpful for succulents and cacti. Then thirdly 20 to 30% compost like decompose cow dung powder or vermicompost or leaf compost or a mix of these. These first three ingredients should be minimum for your plants. You can further fortify this with about 5% of any of these or a combination of these. That is bone meal powder for increasing flowering and fruiting, then neem cake or any oil cake powder for its antimicrobial and antifungal effect uh, to protect the roots. Then optionally you can also add trichoderma or pseudomonas powder and also some beneficial fungi called mycorrhizae. You can watch a detailed video on these useful soil fungi from a link at top right corner of this video and also in the description. The second formula of potting mix is a lightweight mix suitable for rooftop gardening and also a great seed starting mix. Here what you do is you do not use garden soil but you use only cocoa peat or peat moss about 50% then compost like uh, the decomposed cow dung or powder or the vermicompost about 30% then perlite or vermiculite about 20% you can check my detailed video on this uh, perlite and vermiculite and the differences and the benefits of each from a card link at top right corner of this video and also in the description of the video 
You can optionally add the same 5% ingredients like the bone meal, neem mix, uh, mycorrhizae and uh, other stuff as discussed earlier. 